How's it going everybody? Welcome to WeD Tech. Now, Transcend sent over one of uh, their MTE220S NVMe SSDs for me to take a look at and see how it performs. Now, for the 220S, I'm just going to call it that because it's a pretty long name and I'm mentioning it quite a bit in this review. So, the 220S, you can pick it up in a 250, 500 and a 1 terabyte a model. Now, pricing-wise, they do range between a $90 to $135 on Amazon and Newegg. Pricing there is a bit weird currently, so just go check out what is it retailing at the moment for you. But however, here in South Africa on Realtek, it is retailing for between 1000 to 2700 Rand. This does make the 220 as one of the more affordable NVMe SSDs that are reviewed here on the channel, especially for South African pricing. US pricing, again, is a bit weird going on there. But for South Africa, it's actually quite affordable. And I'm looking forward to seeing how it will perform against the other SSDs that I've reviewed so far. But we'll get into how the 220 s performs right after this. So all my South African viewers, Dreamware Tech is a computer e-tailer located in Durban who believes in ethical prices and customer service. They supply a wide range of products from some of your favorite brands like MSI, Gigabyte, Corsair, Razer and many more. They are currently running a special on an MSI Gaming X Trio RTX 2080. So if you're looking to save some of your cash or build a, a new system, go check out Dreamware dreamwaretech.co.za now just before we get into how the 220s performs specs wise it does use a 3d nand flash with a ddr3 dram cache memory it has a five-year limited warranty and it has a 260 to 800 terabyte written life cycle depending on the capacity model you get now getting into how the 220s performs, the sample that was sent over to me is the 1TB model and on paper it is the fastest out of the three so keep in mind if you go for a lower capacity one it will be slower, this is the best case scenario so please just keep that in mind. Also, for my benchmark system, I am using an Anoris Pro X570 board with a Ryzen 5 3600X. So from the benchmarks, we can see that the 220S does really well compared against the other SSDs, even against the new MP600 PCI Express 4.0 SSD from Corsair. For sequential read and write in Crystal Disk Mark, the 1TB 220S actually did the best out of all of the PCI Express 3.0 SSDs. Also, in the 4 gigabit QDEF 1 thread 1 test, it actually was the fastest out of everyone. It did, however, struggle a bit in the 64 thread test coming in in second last. For the copy and paste test, I used a 38 gig Steam backup that I made and just copied it directly on the same SSD. For the Steam backup file, when making a direct copy on the same drive, the 220S did it in 33 seconds, which is the second fastest SSD that I have tested yet, only losing to the MP600, both in PCI Express 3.0 and 4.0. It was quite a bit faster than the SN750. The reason for that is because it had much better consistent speeds at around 1.1 gigabytes per second. Now that was due to the DDR3 DRAM cache memory which supplied enough space for that single run. Now I did see some drop in speed when I did a multiple copies directly after each other uh, where it did drop down to around 600 megabytes a second but that was only out of the one consistent run that I did. I did do three of them and the other two was completely fine. They were constant at 1.1 gigabytes per second. So it does get a full the cache after a while but it's not that big of a deal if you just give it some time to rest up. Then just finally for temperatures, the 220S does not come out with a thermal heat spreader, so it does get quite a bit toasty. Still in working temperatures, 
but it does get quite hot. So on idle it ranged around 37 degrees but on a load it jumped up to 70 degrees and it might affect performance there around if you do keep it running for a long time so just keep that in mind. However, when applying a thermal heat barrel like the one I have with the uh, Aorus X570 Pro, it lowered that load temperature down from 70 to 50 degrees for a much better temperatures. So if a motherboard does not have one, you might get you might want to get one from a third party or, or somewhere because it will help with the temperature and the longevity of your SSD, of course. So then, in conclusion, the MTE220S NVMe SSD from Transcend is one of the best price to performance NVMe SSDs that I've reviewed here on the channel and that I've also seen so far. Now, keep in mind, I haven't reviewed every single SSD out there, I wish I have, but from the ones that I've reviewed, this one does actually really, really well. Again, especially for that price point. I was actually quite surprised at how well the 220 is compared against the Corsair MP600, which again is a PCI Express 4.0 SSD, which is crazy fast on its own. So nice job trying to send. It did actually really well. Now just lastly again, this was the one terabyte model that I had. I didn't get the others to review as well and this one is the fastest out of the three. So you will see that if you go for a lower capacity, it will be somewhat slower. So unfortunately again, I can't show you how much slower it is, but this is the best possible case that you can get with the Transcend uh, MTE220S SSD. But that's pretty much it. A massive thank you to Transcend for sending over the MTE220 SE SSD for review. Also, if you guys want to get it for yourself, I will leave links in the video description where you can find it on Amazon, although pricing is a bit weird there. And then also on RebelTech if you live here in South Africa. But that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, please like, share, subscribe, and comment like always. And I'll check all of you next time. Cheers, guys.